this is Google's Tour Builder. Uh, it's free, simple to use. Your Google login will get you started with Tour Builder. You just go to tourbuilder.withgoogle.com to get yourself started. Um, then you can click on Create a Tour right here if you want to just dive right in, or you can start with My Tours. And we'll take a little peek at this. So I have two tours going on that I've created right now. One is Walk Two Moons to kind of give some of my language arts teachers an idea of what you could do with a book study, uh, visiting all the places that they visited in Walk Two Moons. And then I have some of my other students just um, to play around and get a little bit of extra credit and some creativity, just create a general uh, short uh, tour builder uh, of anywhere that they want in the United States. So for example, I just did professional sports stadiums in uh, Minnesota. But one of the cool things you can do is you can cr customize your icons in your uh, tour builder so as you move through here it just kind of moves you along the timeline so I think that's pretty fun that I can create the custom icons it gives the kids a little bit more creativity um, in their tour builder let's just get started with showing you how to do this so you name your tour and we're gonna talk call this eight wonders of the world and we're just gonna get started and you give your author's name and I'll just call it Reynolds um, and we'll create the tour so we get started, and as you can see, you can have it eight rounders of the world. Um, there we go. And then you can add a photo um, of anything you want and give yourself a summary. Uh, this is the eight wonders of the world. And we're not going to do all eight. We'll, we'll do a few of them here. Um, and it, again, you have your Grammarly in there or your spell check. Um, if you want to check some of that stuff type of path you can do a story 3d 2d you can do all kinds of different paths that you want you can change your path color so there are some other options for you to play around with we're just gonna stick with kind of the basics here um, and we'll come back to adding a photo later um, so your first thing that you do is you add a location so we're gonna start with the Taj Mahal and as you start to type you'll see that it pops right up right so you do this and it will take you through Google Maps all the way over to the Taj Mahal. Now you can use this as your um, spot or if you take your little person here you can drop them right on your map and then you can have a better spot. So we're gonna add this to tour um, drop our place marker and add to tour. So then when we see our picture when we come to this part this is the image that we're gonna see when our marker um, comes into frame here. So to add photos and videos, I did some uh, pre-workshop here. We're going to go to the images here, and it's kind of fun um, to have the students add some images of their own of the Taj Mahal because you can get interior shots or you can get exterior shots. So I'm going to choose this one here, and I'm going to copy the image address, and this is kind of the quickest way to do this. You come back here and you add your photo or video, and it will ask you here if you want it in your own albums or you can um, use image by URL. So I'm just going to paste this in here, and there's my image, and there is my first image for my uh, information. So I think that's pretty awesome that you can easily drag and drop um, with your, your image address right in there. And then at the bottom here, I like to have my students provide me with some information based on the Taj Mahal, and you can put as many pictures in there you want. But um, So here, if I just were for... Um, quickness of things I'm going to put this in my information and then I got this information from Wikipedia so what I like to have the students do is I like to have the students tell me where they got their information and then when I go back here to the Taj Mahal I will copy the image address here uh, copy link address and then I will have the students go into Wikipedia and I will link this and I will paste my URL right here. So then, when I want to double check their information, I can easily just click on Wikipedia. If you want to change your um, icon, you click on Change Icon. You can use a custom icon, and the images can be JPEG, PNG, um, BMP, or GIF supported, and you just click on, um, put in the URL of the custom icon, or you can choose um, you know, whatever you want for your custom icon. You do add a location, and we're gonna do this time, Christ the Redeemer, oh, there we go, in Rio de Janeiro. We're going to move across the world. It's going to drop our spot here. And we want to see if we can get even closer in. So we're going to grab our little guy. And we'll put our little guy here. 
and we're going to try to move around. Oh, there you go. And if you don't like it, you can exit your street view, and then you can drop your person back in again. So we're going to try to go to a new spot over here, and we will go down. Oh, this might be our winner here. So you, oh, perfect. This is exactly what we want. We're going to drop a place mark, and we're going to add a tour. So perfect. So when this gets to our next spot, we've already got our, um, our spot to go here. So we'll go to my images. I'll find a really good one here. This is a, here, this one from CNN. I'm going to copy the image address. I'm going to go back here to my tour builder. I'm going to add a photo or video by URL, paste my URL, and it looks beautiful. And I'm going to get some information about Christ the Redeemer. And I'm going to put that in my tour builder. So here we go. Oops. Gonna copy this. Um, actually, let's do this Britannica one. Just to get a little bit different here instead of so everything's not from Wikipedia. So we'll take this and I'll put this information in here. And I will say it came from Britannica. And I'll go back to my information. I will copy the link address. And in my tour builder, this is where I got my information from. A quick way to do my work cited. Um, again, I wouldn't have the students necessarily copy and paste. Have them kind of write it in their own words. But for uh, quickness purposes... Um, nice and easy way to put your information in there. And then if I do something like this, and maybe I can say an icon, and I go to my images, this is great. Here, look at this. So if I go in here, and I copy my image address, and I come over here to my tour builder, and I change my icon, I can paste. And now I have a Christ the Redeemer icon that drops right on the map. That is pretty awesome. So let's go Eight Wonders of the World as an image. Look at this. This is, I think this is a good one right here. So we're going to choose this, copy image address. We're going to start out my introduction with a picture, add a photo, image by URL, paste. And then I've got my image to start out with. Then I can say I am done editing. So you can see on my map that I'm all ready to go. And I want to play full screen. So here is my uh, Eight Wonders of the World Tour Builder. I choose Next. I've got some images here. So again, you can have multiple images there. Perfect. It drops right into the Taj Mahal. It gives me some information about the Taj Mahal. I can do my full screen image if I want to to see some cool pictures um, of the Taj Mahal and then I can go to my next spot and it will fly me across the world to Rio de Janeiro to see Christ the Redeemer. I've got my icon, my custom icon right there on the screen and boom I'm at my Christ the Redeemer. I can see the picture in full screen uh, and there you go. You have a beautiful picture and you have a nice easy tour builder um, for everybody to see. So when you are all done we're gonna go back and exit full screen so now I'm done, and I want to share this tour builder either with the world or back with my teacher. So this is a link to share, only accessible by collaborator, so you need to add a collaborator. So like in a lot of Google uh, products, you need to change who has access, and you want to make it available to anyone who has the link. So you're going to click Save. You can invite people to collaborate. So maybe you have a group of students um, who have been doing a book study or you have a, a certain number of students who are doing specific places on the map that you want them to uh, or countries that you're studying in geography um, or places you're doing in history for uh, different wars or various ideas that you have, uh, famous scientists around the, the globe. So you invite the different collaborators like you would in slides or docs or sheets and you put their name in here. Otherwise, we change this to everybody um, can view with the link. You choose done. We've copied our link, and you're all set. That's exactly how you use Tour Builder. It is very easy. It is very straightforward, and it is very cool.